We're standing here talking to AIC head men's ice hockey coach Gary Wright. Uh, Gary, the team's been practicing for about a week now and about to head out to Michigan Tech for a weekend series to, to open the 2011-12 season. Uh, I know you haven't had a lot of time to work with the guys, but how ready do you think we are to head out to Michigan? Well, I think they're one of the circumstances. I mean, we only have about a week's practice. There's a lot of time to prepare, but it's the same for both teams. Um, I think it's an opportunity to go out and play a, a big time partner in our West. We're really looking forward to it. It's a two game set, so we're going to get to a lot of players right out of the gate. Okay, now just uh, for the season in general, you know, the, you know, it seems like we've been kind of on the brink of, you know, really, you know, I don't want to say turning things around here, but being able to really, you know, up the win total, move up the conference standings. You know, do you think this is a group that can finally kind of turn that corner and, you know, make some noise in Atlantic hockey? We have our strongest group coming back on paper. Obviously, the game out of the ice, but we're happy with our returning. We have some real nice players coming back. Pretty good recruiting class. The one thing I think that you're alluding to is that our program at this point, we just need more wins. And uh, we feel pretty strong in goal. You know, we from last year, we have our four of our f top five goal scorers back. Pretty good defensive core, and we're hoping our newcomers can give us some help as well. So we're pretty optimistic, but obviously we got to get it done in the race. Standing here talking to AIC senior captain Nielsen Archibald. Uh, Nielsen, the men's ice hockey team is about to start the 2011-12 season with a weekend set at Michigan Tech. Uh, you guys only had about a week or so to, to get ready for this. How ready do you think you are to start the season? Uh, we're looking pretty well. So, uh, everyone's excited, so uh, we've just been working hard for the past week or so. Going over systems and getting the flow, of getting back into practice and trying to figure out lines and where everyone fits in, but uh, everyone's starting to figure out the role so far early on the season, so it's looking good. Okay, now just just in terms of the season overall, obviously it's you know tough to tell opening you know weekend how things are necessarily going to go. Uh, you know, how do you think you know this team can perform uh, this year? Uh, we have a lot higher expectations this year. Uh, you know, last year we weren't good enough record wise. Like we had the team to do it, but we didn't put it together and. This year, as a captain, I'm asking a lot more out of guys, and I'm going to expect a lot more out of guys, and guys are going to have to do the hard things. We're going to do the little things to be successful. Okay, now you just mentioned you're a captain this year. You were an assistant captain last year. I mean, what are some of the things, you know, from a leadership perspective that, that you try to do to improve this team? Um, you know, I'm lead by example type guy. I try to work as hard as I can, you know, uh, bring a different aspect to the team, but uh, if I have to be vocal, I'll be vocal, you know. I'm not the guy to call someone out in front of the room, but if I have to call the whole team out, I will, so, you know. Okay, and just uh, lastly, you had a, you know, kind of a breakout scoring season last year, career highs, goals, assists, and points. Uh, do you just kind of have a personal goal uh, of trying to match that or exceed it, if at all possible? What are some of your personal goals? Um, I mean, I want to do better than I did last year. Each year, I've gotten a little bit better, so, uh, you know, my personal goal, I, I mean, I'd love to do more than that, but I, I'm just trying to help the team win, and if the team wins, I have the same numbers I did last year, that's fine with me as long as we win. Standing here talking to AIC uh, junior men's ice hockey player Adam Pleskatch. Uh, Adam, the season's about to start at Michigan Tech this weekend. Uh, you guys have only had about a week or so to, uh, to practice to get ready for this uh, weekend series. How ready do you think we are to, to start? I think we're exceptionally ready to go. Uh, the guys worked very hard this summer. There's evidence of that. Uh, right when we showed up at school, uh, we were on the ice by ourselves, going through the park, and everyone in the room just vibrating the start, so I think we're going to be ready. Okay, now, you know, just kind of in terms of the, the season overall, regardless of what happens this weekend, you know, we've, we've been on the brink of climbing the Atlantic hockey standings for, for a couple of years. It seems like we're always, you know, ready to make that next step, but haven't really been able to. Do you see this as a group that can, you know, finally, you know, make some noise in Atlantic hockey and really jump the standings? Yeah, I definitely think that. As you hear, the, uh, as the coaches say, uh, it's one of the brightest outlooks they've had in many years. Uh, one of the best returning groups that we've had in years, as Coach Wright will say, and the uh, freshmen look awesome out there, so I think this is going to be a year for us. Okay, now this is your second year being named an assistant captain for the team. You know, what do you see uh, you know, in, in yourself as a, as a leader that can uh, you know, help these guys win? Yeah, well first, it's an absolute honor to be voted by my teammates for second year in a row, and I'm not even a senior yet. Um, I mean, I want to be uh, a face that guys can rely on on and off the ice to take this program to the next level. 
Okay, and uh, you know, lastly, you know, you've led us in scoring. Uh, you know, both seasons that you've been here so far, uh, I think you had 22 points as a freshman, 28 uh, this past year. You know, what, what are some of the things you maybe been working on in your offensive game to kind of you know take it to the next level, being that you've been one of our most consistent scorers? Uh, actually, offensively, I just try to. I was shooting pucks all summer, that type of thing, but uh, I just need to be reliable. I mean, I have great line mates. That's the reason I've been so successful. We just have to. Uh, Amp it up all around from first line to fourth line. Here talking to AIC men's ice hockey player Chris Markowitz. Uh, Chris, uh, we're about to drop the puck on the 2011-12 season at Michigan Tech. Uh, you guys have only had about a week to practice, uh, so just kind of curious, how ready do you think we are to get things going this weekend? Well, I think we're more than ready. I mean, it's first line's been a long summer for me, and uh, I know all the other guys are pretty ready to go. And uh, we've been working out together as a team quite, quite a bit, and uh, practice has been a lot of fun. Productive this past week, so I think we're all pretty excited to get to Michigan. Okay, now, you know, obviously, you know, you never really tell how the season's going to go kind of early on, you know, and, you know, Atlantic hockey, you know, is what we kind of strive to succeed in. Um, you know, how do you think this team can do this year? we kind of been on the, you know, on the brink of doing some really great things. Do you think this team's riding, uh, you know, ready to make that next step and uh, climb the standings? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we got a lot of good returning players and, um, just looking at the freshmen this past couple of weeks, uh, a lot of talent there and uh, good kids. So I think I think we have what it takes this year, and uh, I guess we'll find out this weekend and, and then these upcoming weeks. Okay, now uh, just to talk about you personally for a second, uh, you were named an assistant captain this year. You know, kind of, you know, what does that mean to you? What are you know some of the you know extra things that you know you maybe have you know kind of added to your load to to take on that responsibility? Uh, well, first of all, it's an honor to be a captain, but uh, I think I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. I uh, work hard, and I just lead that by an example, and uh, just do what I can on the other side and off the ice.